All right, so today we have another shadow and schmooze video on the look I'm wearing right now. I'm really working on smiling with my eyes, guys. I feel like it's kind of like Marilyn Manson meets Ariel the Little Mermaid. Do you feel me? This is a super easy kind of smoky eye look and you could substitute out the lid color for whatever color you wanted. If you don't feel like rocking a blue shadow, you can go with a more neutral tone or whatever you want. I used a bunch of new products and combos of makeup and random shit, so if you want to see this look, then just keep watching. Got my mug. Is that backwards for you guys? From Sweaty Wisdom. If you want to check it out, link will be below. Ready for the world. Gray lipstick on a coffee mug is a whole new look. I feel super out of the filming groove right now. So I've already prepped my face by washing and moisturizing and priming. Um, I just use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer. That's just like my go-to one when I don't want to think about what primer to use because there's too many options, you know what I'm saying? For foundation, I wanted to try out this BB Plus Illumination by Jarred Cosmetics. I haven't tried this before. And it's just like an illuminating cream that you can mix in with foundation or wear in your cheekbones or wherever you wanna highlight. So I'm gonna be mixing it in with the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation because this is super matte. So we'll really be able to see how much this illuminates. This is in the shade L42, which was discontinued by Kat Von D and um, Sephora just announced that they're bringing it back. For all the pale princesses out there, that's some um, exciting news. I think I just got way too much. I've never used this, like I said, so I don't know how much I'm supposed to mix in here. Let's just start with a little, like, half pump. It looks pretty bronze. I don't know if I got a enough illumination. We'll see. I haven't used Kat Von D um, foundation in forever now because I've been hoarding it since I thought that they weren't continuing L42. It's one of the only foundations that is actually light enough on its own for my skin. So you can definitely see a little bit of doing this. It doesn't look like too much. It just makes it so my face doesn't look completely flat like it usually does with a matte foundation. I think we're gonna have to get a ponytail soon. I forgot how much coverage this shit has. I definitely like how it just gave a little bit of dewiness to the foundation. This would be perfect to mix in with foundations that you like the coverage but you don't necessarily like the finish of it. But for concealers I'm going with my usual Revlon Age Defying mixed in with NYX HD Lavender Concealer. You guys said you still wanted me to show this, so that's what we're doing, even though I do the same thing every time. So I can't remember if I've announced this in a video yet or not, but my best friend, Rachel, got the job in Seattle, so she's moving here, and I'm super stoked. She's actually here right now, and she's staying with me for a couple weeks at this apartment before our lease starts on August 1st. I just sent her off to the aquarium. <laughs> So that's what's happening right now, but it's been really fun because now I have someone to go do like touristy shit with. We went to the Washington Arboretum yesterday, which is basically this giant freaking forest. I also learned that there are actually people called arborists, which they basically design arboretums. How does one get into tree design? Why are we talking about trees right now? Then I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Translucent like Correcting Powder, like always, and set the under eye concealer with this. A couple people tweeted me saying they bought this and they love it, it's light enough for them. That makes me happy, I'm glad. And the brush I'm using is the e.l.f. powder brush. I've been using this brush to set my under eye concealer for forever. I just like how dense it is, I feel like it just places the product really well. So then to set the rest of my face, Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. This is one of my favorite powders like I've mentioned multiple times before but I have learned that it doesn't sit on your face very well for long periods of time. I thought it was the primer or foundation I was using, but it's definitely the powder. Um, when I go to work now, I don't wear this just because I'm there for like over nine hours, and by the end of the day, it just looks really like scaly and bad and cakey. So I've been switching up my powders for work to try and find one that I really like, but like today, if I'm not gonna be wearing my makeup for a long ass time, then I just go with Laura Geller. Alright, so I think we're going to go and do a light kind of contour, and I'm just using the NYX Blush in Raisin, and this is a good contour if you have fair skin. I'm just using this pink brush that is like broken. I don't even know why I'm using this, like why don't I just throw this out? I think I got this at iMats like a couple years ago. I haven't been to iMats since. Are you guys going to iMats? Should I go to iMats? I don't know. Alright, anyways, it will do for now, and it's pink, so I like it. I am just swirling my brush in here, and we're going to do a contour. So 
So it looks like we're doing a pretty intense contour today. <laughs> I didn't realize how pigmented this stuff was. So for blush, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Persimmon Pink or what's this? Pearlescent Pink. There we go. And this stuff is super pigmented, so I'm literally just tapping my brush one time and we're just going to lightly dab this on. So I'm going to go in with a clean uh, Real Techniques blush brush and just blend this out. Eyebrows for me are usually that part of the makeup routine that I am just not looking forward to. But today, I am super stoked because I'm trying out a new product, NYX Eyebrow Gel. I picked this up from Ulta, and this is in the shade Espresso. I have never used this before. It's supposed to be like a long-lasting gel. I think it's even supposed to be waterproof. Let's just read about it. I think they had four or five shades. So to apply this, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand and then go ahead and dip my eyebrow brush into it. The brush I'm using is just my mini Eco Tools brush. This is interesting. It feels kind of like the Anastasia uh, Dip Brow Pomade when you're applying it, even though it's a totally different formula. I definitely got way too much on the back of my hand. This is enough for like all of America's eyebrows right here. So I'm actually really happy with the way that that applied. It was super quick and easy. If you don't like the look of super defined brows, you could probably use a lighter hand and use less product and get the effect that you want, but I personally like really sculpted out brows, clearly. So for eyeshadow primer, I'm just using Urban Decay's Primer Potion just because I have this tiny sample thing that I want to get rid of. So I went into the MAC here in Seattle and obviously got shit that I did not need. Isn't it amazing how you just magically empty out your wallet when you walk into a MAC counter? It's amazing. One of the things I got was the Pro Eyeshadow in Uninterrupted. This is like one of the most well-known pro eyeshadow. I haven't put it in a palette yet, so I'm just gonna hold it and we're gonna chill. So I'm just applying this to the crease with the fluffy blending brush. This is just one of those eyeshadows that you could literally wear with any look. It has a really interesting like shit tone to it, you know what I mean? While we have this color on the brush, I'm just going to run a little bit on the bottom lash line. For the blue color, I'm going to be using Milani's Bella Teal. This is the gel powder eyeshadow. I don't really get the whole gel vibe from these. To me, it just feels like a powder. So I'm just taking this on an Urban Decay brush. I think this is from the Naked 2 palette or Naked palette, one of those. And we're just gonna plop this on the lid. So I wanted to attempt to use a brush for my lid just to see if I was missing out on something in the world. And I'm definitely not. I think it applies so much better with your finger. So now I'm gonna go over that with my finger. Like look at how much more pigmented that is. This has a really pretty kind of teal undertone to it. I'm gonna take this shade by Milani and it's kind of, I don't even know what you would call this color. It's apparently a charcoal. I'm just gonna put this on the outer third of my eye. And then I'm going to blend that inwards a little bit. I feel like I'm kind of out of it right now. Like I need energy or more caffeine or something. So I'm gonna go back in with Uninterrupted and just add a little bit more of that to warm up the crease. All right, so I'm gonna take my LA Girl Glide On Black Liner, put this on the waterline, that's what that's called. So then you can take any black eyeshadow that you have. I'm just using this shade from the Real 2 palette, and I'm using a Sigma E30 pencil brush for this, and I'm just gonna run that on the outer third of the eye just to blend out that waterline. If you do that last step, I just feel like it really helps to smoke everything out and blend it all out. So for eyeliner, I'm going to use my usual Physicians Formula Eye Booster, and I always mention this stuff, and I wanted to point out that make sure you get the very black shade, I think it's called, Ultra Black. There is a gray color and a black color and an ultra black color and a couple people tweeted me saying that it wasn't black at all. Make sure you get the ultra black one because this one is the shit. Alright, so we finished up the eyeliner and mascara. For mascaras I use the usual, but I've been really enjoying using the Falsies brush for the Miss Manga formula. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. I think I'm going to go with a gray kind of lip just because I bought a stone lip liner at MAC and I need to justify that purchase. So I'm just going to line my lips with this and then also fill it in. So then I'm going to go in with NYX Macaroon lipstick in the shade Black Sesame. I have a whole first impressions video on the NYX Macaroon lipsticks if you want to see that. There we go. I think we're going to add a little bit of a highlight, and I'm using Essence Blue Me Up Highlighter. 
I'm just using a stippling brush with this and we're just going to pop this on the top of our cheekbones. Alright, so this is the final look. I don't even know what to call this. I feel like it's kind of like a vampy mermaid. Maybe that's what we'll call it. Like always, all the products will be listed below if you're curious about anything and you want to check it out yourself. Comment down below with what shadow and schmooze look you want to do next because when I film these, I literally just like look at the shit I have and pick random eyeshadows and throw them together so if you want to see a specific look then be sure to let me know down below love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye